Hello, welcome to another virtual fitness class with Hype Nutrition and Wellness. My name is Erin. Today I have for you a low impact cardio video. And the reason I'm doing this video is that between the HIIT classes I teach and the bar and yoga classes I teach, I do like to get out and do some walking and just kind of get that, that steady state cardio and get my steps in. So I am thinking, I live in North Dakota. Yesterday, I wanted to go for a walk. It was 65 degrees, but 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Today, welcome to North Dakota, it's 27 degrees and we have 30 mile an hour winds. So my buddy Tito, who just walked by here, isn't going to get his full out walk today. Um, so I thought, okay, how am I gonna get just kind of that light impact steady cardio in? I could go to the gym and use the treadmill there. I could wait for my husband to get off our treadmill here or I can just show you a nice, easy walking based workout that you can do right from your own living room. It's low impact. It's gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit, but most importantly, it's gonna help you get those steps in. So I'm actually just put this on. We're starting at 33 steps, zero miles, and we're gonna see how far this workout takes us. So now before you do this program or any other program, make sure that you are cleared to exercise by your physician or primary care provider. And also make sure you're listening to your body. So if you have any knee or ankle injuries that you're caring for, then just make sure you're paying attention and taking it at your own pace. So we are gonna get started. I got a little back feet going for us. And what we're gonna do is, March it out, starting with just a nice, easy march. We're gonna warm it up before we take it up just a little bit. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a good pair of shoes on and that you are on a nice, uh, stable floor. So you don't want any rugs or anything that could slip and slide. So I'm just on our, I'm right here in my living room doing this right with you. We're gonna take just a couple knee raises here. My dog's looking at me like, shouldn't we be doing this outside? Sorry, buddy. And march it out. So what's important about getting that warm up in is you wanna start getting the heart rate going, you wanna start getting blood going to all those limbs and warm up those muscles to reduce the risk of injury and soreness. All right, little side step here. Step to the side. There you go. Nice lateral movement. You're gonna want a good pair of walking shoes on. Take those nice deep breaths. You can add those arms in there. Back to that march. March it up. Now you can kind of start to pump those arms a little bit. Moving all those upper body muscles to help increase that heart rate. Back to that knee raise, knee up, knee up. Let's take opposite arm to leg. So see if you can pull that knee to about 90 degrees. If that's not comfortable for you, then just take it up to what works. Remember, we listen to our bodies. Let's go ahead, march it out. March. Start pumping those arms. Nice job. We're gonna go for four, three, two, and side step here, side step. Now you can start bringing those arms up and down. You got it. We're gonna go eight more side step here. So the other benefit of this program is that you're getting more than just linear movement, which is forward movement. We're also gonna get some backwards and some lateral movement or side to side. So we're gonna work all those joints and then we're gonna do some nice little recovery stretching at the end. We're going four more. I think I said eight. Now we're down to four. And two. And one. 
Back to that march. March it out. So let's go ahead and roll the shoulder back. Get some joint movement in those arms. Reverse. And other arm. Roll. Reverse. And back to those knees. Knee. Knee. Should feel the body loosening up. There we go. You can always get a little bit of dance. A little bebop in there if you want. that march. Now let's back it up a little bit and march in place. Take it forward. Four, three, two, back. Pull. Take it forward. Hold it here. Take it back, right to center, back to that side step, side step. You're bringing those arms up and down. If your shoulders aren't feeling a lot today, you can keep those hands on your hips. Beautiful. Four, three more. March it out right here. Now let's add a little kick. Step kick, kick. There you go. You can keep that foot gently flexed hinging from the knee and the ankle. Sorry, hip and knee. March it out. So we're just gonna put together a little combination just to keep this fun. And we're gonna go four, three, two, march it back, back. Hold it here. Four, three, two, take it forward. Hold it here. Side step. You got it. So now we know those kicks are coming. Step kick. Okay. 
Take it back. Four, three, two, hold it here. Coming forward. Four, three, let's take that side to side. Last time. Four more here. Four, three, two, take a kick. So we're gonna transition, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Coming into a new little combo. Add that knee, knee, tap, tap, tap. See if you can pull that knee up to a 90 degree angle or whatever comfortable for you. And if shoulder mobility allows, you're gonna reach and tap, reach and tap. Reach, reach. So what's nice about this, no jumping. We can give those knees and ankles a break. Reach. Like 
hand weights here, two or three pounds. If you wanted to add a little strength to your cardio today. Perfect. Let's get into those low impact jacks. Step. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> Step. I, you know, sometimes my brain doesn't match my body. It's okay. As long as we keep moving, we're good. We're good. So walking is still one of the best forms of exercises because it's low impact, it's steady state, it's fun, you can get out in some fresh air, but it's also good to change up to your routine, making sure you're adding some strength, and some interval cardio, and also some flexibility, like Pilates or yoga. Take it back here. Wrapping up this sequence. There you go. Four, three, two, march it out. cross behind here like a baby skater. So it almost seems like kind of a little dance move. You're crossing that leg behind. Just got to keep moving, right? Maybe we don't always feel like doing those high interval Tabata classes. That's okay. You just gotta move. Cross behind. You don't have to get the little bop in here. I just feel kind of jiggy today, so march it out. So we're gonna do a little knee bend with a heel tap. Take it out, four, three, two, 
in and out, in, in, out, out. Yes, you can get that little squat in there. Keep those shoulders back. We don't want to be hunched over. Open that chest up. March it out. We're going to combine that with our other two, starting with that step back, step, cross, cross. For four. And three. Two. Take that heel tap. Heel, heel, heel. Give me four. Three. Two. March it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, out and in. Out, out. Now, if you can think about it, lead with the opposite foot that you led with last time. If you're right-handed, chances are you do everything with your right foot first. Like, walk upstairs, put on your pants. Whew. Heart rate's up there. We're going to run through this one more time. Last one. March it out. March. March. Four. Three. Side step with that back. Cross. 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 Give me that heel tap. Nice job. Right from our own living room. Four. Three. Two. March. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Lead with that right leg first. Out, out, in. Out, out, in. Hold that march. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Leave with the left leg. Out, 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 out. March. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to do a square. One, two. Corner, 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 corner. Stop bending the knee. Hold it center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, square. Other foot leads. So you're hitting all four corners of that square. We're almost there. Four, three, two, march it up. Beautiful job. Let's take it wide. Four, three, easy hamstring curl here. Hamstring curl. Guess what? That little ditty we did, 2,500 steps. So, and it is the equivalent to one and like almost 1.1 miles. And we're not quite done yet. Just showing you how effective this can be. Keep in mind, we've only been going for about 20 minutes. March it up. Nice job. So if you want to double this time, just watch this video twice. And we're going to take it side. Nice and easy. 
Take some deep breaths. So we're gonna slow it down. Come into a little bit of recovery stretching. Some great standing stretches you can do after all your walks or cardio exercises. Slowing it down even more. And we're gonna take a little lunge, lunge, lunge. So you have that slight hinge at the hip. You're still keeping that knee from going past your toes. And you're just gonna hold it here. Nice side lunge. There you go. And rotate. Soft bend in that front knee. You're gonna press that heel back to the floor and just hinge slightly forward. So, then if it's comfortable for you, drop that leg down and send the hip forward. Reach back with those arms. that lunge to the other side. The cat is oddly fascinated by this light system I have going on here. If we make it through this without him knocking it over, I'm going to be pretty happy about that. Turn it into that lunge. So standing runner's lunge here, press that heel back. And then you can take it down, drop that knee down if it's comfortable, if you're on a soft surface, or even grass, and reach. You can interlace those fingers if you want. Beautiful. Coming back up, bring it in. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left, coming into that pigeon. So you can hold on to a wall or a chair. If you're balanced, isn't so great, or this is not comfortable on your knee, then you can just pop that backside out and rest that toe on the floor. Ooh, all right. So obviously my balance is a little off today. And stretch. And sink down. Nice stretch through the hips and glutes here. Let's get that side body. We're gonna cross the left behind the right. Reach the right hand down, bring the left arm over. Take a little gaze up at those fingers. And release. Crossing the right behind the left, other side. Stretching that quadricep. And the only thing we have to get is the hamstrings. And other side. And release. We're gonna take a little forward fold here. Soft knee, hinge at the hip. This is also great for the low back. So you're stretching through the back of the legs, through that low back. Let that head hang heavy. So let gravity just pull everything down. Hold four, three, two. We're gonna roll it up slowly, feeling all those vertebrae. And shoulders. Beautiful job. There you have it. Your low impact cardio workout that you can do right in your own living room. Hopefully you liked it. Stay tuned for some more great classes to come. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time, have a great day.